Hi everyone, thanks for tuning in to Barefoot Wellness Studio. This week uh, we're going to focus on a standing exercise and again you won't need a yoga mat, I just have it down as a reference for you to kind of know about how far to put your feet apart. But if you do have a yoga mat, go ahead and lay it down. Um, you will also need a chair that's sturdy and stable, not on any wheels. So hopefully this will work out. We're gonna just do some very basic exercise building on that breath work. So you wanna take your feet uh, pointing the toes out. So you're gonna point the toes out comfortably enough where you're just starting to open the hips and then to make sure that the knees, as you bend your knees, you wanna check that your kneecaps are going just right over the big toe. So you're just gonna do an easy bend and just a hold. You're just gonna hold what some uh, instructors call this as horse stance. So you're just gonna hold it. I'm gonna to turn to the side so that you can see, hopefully you can kind of see. So it's just a hold like you were sitting on a horse, okay? So you don't wanna collapse your low back or overarching that low back. You really don't. You wanna find that neutral point right in between those two. So you're just gonna go into a nice horse stance. So um, previous video, we talked about breath work. You can go into that video and see, but you just wanna be breathing through the belly as you inhale. Quick review, the belly expands as you exhale, that belly's going to come together. Or if you're able, it's a little more complicated breath, if you're able, so as you inhale, your fingers would separate if you're having your fingertips on your waist. And you're more than welcome if you wanna put your hands on your lower two ribs, inhaling and exhaling here. So if you start to feel dizzy, because we're doing a lot of blood work here, just sitting in this horse stance, there's a lot of blood going to the legs, uh, maybe a little bit less at the head. So um, if you're feeling dizzy or uncomfortable, just come out of this horse stance, by all means sit down. And of course you've had doctor approval before you do these exercises. So anyway, so just sitting down, in that horse stance and holding and breathing good. You wanna feel that nice activation in the legs. If you're able, add just a small pulse. So you're just pulsing up and down, check for any knee pain. But feel that work in the legs as you pulse. Very nice, let's try 10 more pulses. Breathing in and out of the nose as much as you can, through in the nose and out the nose, good. Four more, good. And three, nice. And two, beautiful, good. And one, and take a break. Coming up, roll those shoulders back. Breathing, good. And then coming back down into that horse stance, maybe just a little bit deeper if you can tolerate that. That's just gonna be a little bit more work in the thighs. And now we're gonna go side to side. So you're moving your entire core over the legs. Sometimes I'll find students doing what I call tick-tock. They're just kind of tipping their torso back and forth. Now you want your whole core moving from side to side. Your feet are as wide as you comfortably. If they, if they need to be a little wider than your yoga mat, that's fine. Just whatever you need. I just prefer to have that mat there. Good, moving side to side. Couple more, sitting deep, working those legs. You're doing awesome, very nice. And keeping the arms out of it, or if you can, arms are gonna go from side to side. You're gonna get a little bit chopped off on the video here, but that's okay. So you're just gonna keep those arms out, nice and strong, side to side, moving those muscles, moving the breath, feeling just a little bit stronger when we are done. And you guys are doing awesome. We got five more of these, good. And four, beautiful job, great. And three, whoo. Nice, two, good job. And last one, bringing those arms down, coming out, taking whew, a nice break. Very good. So hopefully you're feeling a little bit in your legs. You can just bring those knees to your chest. Just move those legs a little bit, get the muscles and blood flowing. Very good. And then you can stay where you're at. I'm just gonna turn to the side. So most of you are familiar with um, 
10 for Life. Uh, one of my students called it TFL. I love that. I'm going to try to figure out how to incorporate that. You can go to 10 for Life on the website um, or the Facebook page. And again, that's 10 for Life. So we're just going to go into just a couple of them. So having your feet comfortably hip width apart coming down. Now, if you feel in any of these exercises that you just need a little bit of assistance, by all means, just take a chair. You can just take a chair for your balance if you feel like you need that for balance. But just coming down. I'm going to move the chair because I'm feeling pretty good today. So coming down into 10 for life. So just again, you're going to squat similar to your horse stance, but the legs are much more together as you can see on the yoga mat. So just coming down back is straight, but not over arched, nor is it collapsed. Just nice and strong. Maybe have your arms here. If you can bring the arms overhead. Nice and breathing, feeling the work in the legs. Beautiful job. Nice. Taking the arms apart if that's better on your shoulders. Okay, Brooke, staying here. And then just shift your weight to your right foot. Oh, you're going to feel that work just a little bit more into that right leg. And then a weight shift to the left foot. Very nice. Good. Weight shift back to the right. Good. Work those arms, back muscles, shoulders, shift to the left. Good. Quads, working really everything. Good. Very nice. Bringing those arms down, coming down into a prayer position for the, for the hands. And we're just, you know, just rest the arm onto the opposite knee. And I'm going to turn to the front. If that twist is just way too much for your back, get a nice wide stance and you can twist here. But as you twist, what, whether you're doing this kind of a twist or if you are in a little bit of a deeper twist here, you're really trying to breathe from here, from this lower ribs. Ex feel that expansion as you inhale and feel it return as you exhale. Good. Lots of work in the legs still going on. Good. And then twisting to the opposite side. Good. Breathing. Very nice, good. And then coming to center, be the last one to just roll up. Try to go slower than me, just rolling up as slow as you can with the spine. Knees are soft, slightly bent, rolling the shoulders back. Great start for your day. If you wanna do all of 10 for Life, go to the website and the Facebook page, are, it's both there. And then if you have any questions or comments, feel free, uh, subscribe below, all that. I'm still learning. Thanks a lot for your patience.